Shamrock uh, and we're heading to another electric skate ride. Uh, this is a fun overlap of three different universes but we have a Mark video series, we have our solar electric boat series uh, and we have our Dirt Surfer, the electrified two-wheeled uh, skateboard-like device that Aaron resurrected a couple months ago. Uh, so all those worlds are colliding right now. The e-skate ride takes off from Science World uh, and since Mark was over at my house we decided to hop on the boat and motor ourselves out there. Mark came to Vancouver last year on what was the shakedown test of his decade in the making solar electric bicycle journey as he was preparing for a round the world trip. Uh, the bike's been thoroughly shaken down, not very much went wrong with it. Uh, Mark's here for a couple of days just to do some really minor modifications, upgrading his lights, I think he has a cracked 3D printed fender. Uh, any other jobs on your docket? Yeah, just little little tweaks and, and adjustments, but uh, solid for the most part. Solid for the most part. So aside from one freak accident where a gust of wind blew him and his trailer right off the road and fractured the carbon fiber linkage, uh, which he did repair in a cheap motel, as I understand it, um, his whole contraption has proved surprisingly robust and adept to the challenges. He crossed the 40,000 kilometer threshold on his vehicle uh, just a month ago, is that right? That's right. Uh, which is the technical definition of the circumference of the earth, according to Napoleon. Mark is determined to not plug in his batteries at all, so his bike's at the bow of the boat, getting charged up from the sun. Uh, we laid out a few additional solar panels on the deck to give him a full pop-up for this group ride. Uh, tell us where you formally started the journey and uh, where this fits in your global plans. The shakedown cruise was from uh, Vancouver to San Diego, but I went the long way around via St. Paul and St. Louis uh, back to San Diego, so it ended up being 8,700 kilometers and I had uh, took a break over the winter in San Diego to uh, make some little upgrades and fixes on the bike and just wait out the winter and now I started out in San Diego a month ago made it up to Vancouver and I'm heading up to Alaska uh, as the first leg of the journey and after that I plan to fly to Australia and uh, the idea was to continue on across Asia, uh, but uh, that route looks like it might be impossible right now, so I may need to do things out of order a little bit. And uh, so after Australia, possibly South America, uh, because it'll be uh, the right time of year in the Southern Hemisphere, and then head up north back to San Diego, and then pick up the other continents later. First, I thought I could be in Alaska for the summer solstice. Uh, so I envisioned that being north of the Arctic Circle, I'd have 24 hours of daylight with a solar bike. And that just seemed like perfect combination there. Uh, but uh, but it's, it's already two, three weeks past the summer solstice now. So um, I'm, I'm trying to make up for lost time a little bit. What's your mic? I've been miles averaging 71 miles, which is what, 115, 120? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, and that was because of headwinds and, and, and some mechanical issues I had in Oregon. I think I could do like 160 a day if, if roads are good and I'm not dealing so, with, so what, with, what are you, with winds. What, what are you seeing on average for kilowatt hours? Like kilowatt hours per day? Like, well, yeah, what are you getting from your, you've got a relatively small nominal panel system compared to some other solar bikes. Yep. You're uh, 270 watts nominal? Uh, 330. Uh, 330. Okay. Yeah, so, you, so 330. So, but what has been with all your uh, data collection, your average kilowatt hours per day? Average per day since San Diego, I think, is about 1400. But that includes some some shorter days, just because I couldn't travel as far as I wanted to. My my peak day was two and a half kilowatt hours. Um, so enough to fill up a 500 watt hour battery five times during the day so that was but that's that's, that's that's peak I tend to average about 15 miles per hour okay uh, 25 kilometers yeah how many other solar bicycles did you encounter on your trek to Vancouver from California oh amazingly I I, I met up a bunch a uh, couple of them were planned meetups and um, and the first two I met were completely by chance, I was stopped in Manhattan Beach, uh, just taking a break, and two people uh, from the San Francisco Bay Area on solar trikes just rolled up and recognized me from the previous Grin video, which was amazing. 
<laughs> just missed Ryan from Solmobile. We were planning on trying to meet up in Santa Barbara and he had some mechanical issues, so we didn't actually meet face to face, but we came within like an hour of meeting each other. And in the first town where I stopped in Oregon, I stopped at the grocery store and just a random shopper came up to me and said, oh, there's a man in town who has a bike just like yours. And I thought, <laughs> what, you mean a recumbent? No, 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 he's got solar panels and everything. Just random town in Oregon. So it feels like it's, it's becoming a regular thing that people are riding around on solar panels and it's becoming a, a thing that people are familiar with and recognize. Hopefully soon. Say the same about this glorious stuff as all these boats chug petrol through the harbor. So if you could choose to put more batteries on your bike, would you? No, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I have on there. I tried starting with just four LIGOs, so 400 watt hours, and um, I found uh, it wasn't enough to, to give me the, re the amount of regen that I wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would take an hour long lunch break and my battery would already be full and I'd have to get going or lose sunlight. Yeah. So now I have six LIGOs, so just under 600 watt hours. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't think I want any more okay. additional weight. It's just a, it's just a, a cache because I, if I was doing plug-in charging, I'd want a lot more batteries. But since I'm not, I want the smallest battery I can get away with to keep the rig. Are you finding that the sun is forcing you to take shorter breaks because your batteries are getting fully charged up while you're inside having lunch and you don't want to waste the opportunity of filling your photons into electrons? I definitely have to plan around it. So even while riding, I feel like I can't take a break if my battery's at 90% and the sun is shining. So. Yeah. I, I will deliberately like increase my speed just to drain the battery a little bit so that when I stop it's at you know 60 70 percent so so I can I can I can use all of it for charging we totally did that on this Sunday where me and Anza just stopped pedaling went full throttle because we had our batteries were too charged and we couldn't get regen on the downhills <laughs> and uh and so we're just like burn it burn baby yeah um because yeah you take a break your battery gets 95 percent and then you're uh, and I find that the, that, the, that the bottleneck there, in terms of trying to consume the battery as quickly as possible, is, is the motor winding. Now, so on a 20 inch wheel, uh -huh. direct drive and a 36 volt battery, You're just going I can't go faster than, so, you know, 25 I mean, miles an hour, 40 yeah. kph. Yeah, field weakening, it's in your controller, <laughs> just gotta activate it. Yeah. So in 40,000 kilometers, how many times have you replaced your brake pads? Um, I've replaced them once or twice, but mostly because in the beginning I didn't have the regen dialed in because I I had a low it. default setting and, and initially I only had four LIGO batteries. Okay. So, so since the so upgrade? I, since the upgrade, there's been almost no brake pad wear at all because I'm doing all of my braking through regen. Uh, how many tires have you gotten here in 40,000 kilometers? I kept track. The, the front one wears out wears out the fastest because it's got the hub motor on there and it's doing most of the braking through regen. Uh, the Marathon Plus tire I had on there lasted 4,000 miles from new to sh nice. starting to show the blue, uh, you know, anti-puncture stuff that's in the Marathon song. Oh, okay. But, I, but I, probably I like spare. seven tire swaps to go around the world. Probably. Okay. probably. How many times in 40,000 kilometers he had to replace your drivetrain, your chain? When I had a buffet on there, I was replacing the chain like every 3,000 miles. Okay. I think I went almost 10,000 miles on, on, on one chain. 40,000 kilometers? How many times he had to disassemble and rebuild the roll off? Uh, zero times. Just change, change the oil every, every 3,000 miles. And okay. I think. I had the roll off on my previous bike, so I think I have 36,000 miles on, oh on the roll off. And so why are you not using a belt drive on your... I would love to use a belt drive on my bike, they but, don't but I don't think anyone makes uh, a recumbent. Well, you need a, a frame that can open up to accept it, mm -hmm. and you need a very long length. Oh, I forgot about the opening frame, yeah. How much time would it take to totally drain your batteries if all your lights are on at full power? 20 watts, 30 hours. 600 watt hours. 30 hours. So, uh, 30 hours? 30 hours, okay. Uh, favorite roadside food? The burrito, definitely. <laughs> uh, favorite roadside fruit? Plums, right. as a roadside, you know, locally grown. Do you get past or do you pass more often? It depends on whether it's sunny or cloudy. Going through a city, do you spend more time at red lights 
or talking to people with a million questions about your bike? Oh, definitely talking to people. Do you ever avoid slowing down so that you don't have to answer a million questions? Sometimes. Longest sequence of days without any sunshine? Washington State, five or six days, and the only times I've had to push the bike up a hill, both times in Washington so State. So avoid Washington. Oh. Wait, With where, do you, where, where do you discover BC? <laughs> Oops. Number of collisions in a sailboat, three zero. Oh. <laughs> uh, most number of consecutive days of sunshine. Like a lot, eh? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's been it's been really good since San Diego yeah. until I hit Washington. So, yeah. right. so over two weeks. Stretch. Over two weeks. Wow. Yeah. Worst motel in America. <laughs> motel Six in Albuquerque. All right. Only, only time I saw actual roaches oh. scurrying around. It's another e-bike on a boat. Yeah. Um, ratio of camping days to motel days? Uh, overall, about five to one. Camping to, camping okay. to motel. Okay. So you basically shower once a week, is what you're telling us. Oh, no, most most of these uh, campgrounds I've stayed oh, with great. on the coast have, have, shower, have had showers. Uh, it's going to get more yeah. primitive going forward. Yeah. I think I've showered almost every night oh, so wow. far on this trip. It's about to go way down. That is going not forward. my bike touring Ex experience. Yeah. But I'm also just shower. Yeah, but that's just San San yeah. Diego and, and they're awesome. pretty well developed. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a village of dock right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually where we still want to be. Oh, don't lose it. Right. Don't lose it in the ocean. I've been here at Grin for a few days now, making uh, making some little fixes and updates to the bike uh, for the road ahead and getting ready to, to take off in a few minutes and heading up uh, north through BC, Yukon Territory and to Alaska. I wanted some brighter lighting on the back because my experience with traffic coming up the coast here on the 101 and the, and the PCH was that often there's no shoulder and there's a lot of traffic. So I got some brighter lights on the back and I finally replaced uh, the rear shock, uh, failed on me after 40,000 kilometers. Uh, so I finally got a proper replacement in there and that's working great and uh, uh, did a tuning on the phase runner to enable phase weakening so I can get a slightly higher top speed when I have more sun than I want, than I know what to do with. Thanks guys. All right. Cheers. We miss you. Bye.